More and more these days, road bikes are becoming more specialised as manufacturers create bikes for each different kind of profile and terrain. In this video, we're going to run you through the three different types of road bikes, the aerodynamic, the lightweight and the endurance bike. Each of these bikes has different characteristics and features and we're going to take you through them today so that you know the difference. Lightweight road bikes are built for those that love to climb. As the name suggests, they are lightweight and versatile. The goal for lightweight bikes is to keep the frame material as light as possible while maintaining a high stiffness to weight ratio. When creating a lightweight bike, the tube profiles are as thin as possible without compromising stiffness or durability. The thinner tubes keep weight down and allow a small amount of flex which reduces the overall road vibration and making a more comfortable ride. To find the balance between weight and stiffness, lightweight frames will improve strength and stiffness in the bottom bracket, seat tube, head tube and chain stays by using different types of carbon or different layering techniques. This creates strength where it's needed most without compromising on weight. The other standout feature of lightweight bikes is their versatility. Lightweight bikes tend to fall in the middle of many performance features of true aero bikes and true endurance bikes, making them the bike of choice for general classification riders and team leaders. Endurance road bikes are best suited to the long distance riders, people that ride on rough roads, and the vast majority of the population. Endurance bikes were first created to be comfortable, robust, and durable. Built for the cobbles of northern France in the professional classic races. The main purpose of the endurance road bike is to remove the fatigue caused to riders by road vibration. These endurance bikes are built with inbuilt compliance and allow greater clearance for larger tyres. Using wider tyres has many advantages. Wider tyres are able to run at a lower pressure than skinnier tyres, reducing road vibration and providing a smoother ride. Endurance bikes aim to put the rider in a more upright position. The head tube and wheelbase is longer, the frame reach is reduced and the frame stack is increased. This combination creates less aggressive positioning, making it easier for riders to travel long distances without stressing their back, shoulders, neck and hamstrings. Riding in a more comfortable position will make it easier for a rider to produce more power for longer, ultimately achieving a better result. The aero road bike is suited to the racer, the crit rider or the short course triathlete, basically people that are focused on speed. The main priority of the aero road bikes is to reduce drag and be as slippery as possible in the wind. 85% of the resistance a rider needs to overcome is from themselves, so it makes sense to reduce a rider's frontal profile as much as possible. As a result, the head tube on the aero road bike is generally a lot shorter than others, creating a low frontal profile and having less resistance to overcome. Aero bikes will also have a longer frame reach than endurance bikes. Another key feature of the aero road bikes is of course the aerodynamics. Tube profiles of the aero bikes push the UCI regulations of a 3 to 1 profile. In order to do this, tube profiles are long, thick and shaped with a tapered leading edge and sculpted tail. Many aero bikes will have a rear brake hidden out of the wind, underneath the bottom bracket or hidden with an ingenious creation like the Trek Vector Wings on the Madone. It's rare to see cables on an aero bike, very often they're hidden through ports in the frame and it's also common practice to see a one piece bar and stem combination to further improve aerodynamics as well as improve cockpit stiffness. The final piece of the aerodynamic puzzle is the deep section wheels. Aero bikes will always be paired with a deep section wheel, generally of 40mm to 80mm depth to further reduce drag and enhance aerodynamics. If you're tossing up between the three bikes and struggling to make a decision, if you plan on racing then it's a flip of a coin between the lightweight or the aero option. If lumpy road races and climbing challenges are your thing, then the lightweight bike is the way to go. For those that like to go fast and take the glory on a crit circuit or Strava segment, you may want to look at the racier aero option. Comfort and durability should be the priorities for the majority of riders that aren't racing. The relaxed geometry and robust nature of endurance bikes should have them in first place for most people. But the best solution? Just get all three.